guys. Today we're doing something a little different here on the channel. We're actually reviewing clothing. So we're going to be talking about these pants here by UF Pro. Uh, a few months ago I saw a blog post by somebody over in Europe, like a tactical blog if you will, and they uh, were talking about these pants and they have so many cool features. So I decided to get a pair and get them in here for review on the channel over here across the pond as they say. So what I'm going to do is just keep doing some shooting with them. I've been using them for about a month here on the range pretty consistently. And uh, we'll step inside, talk about some of the unique features of them, and then what do I think of them overall. But that's what's coming up next, guys. For now, we'll keep putting a few rounds down range. We'll get into the details of these pants and I suppose we'll start out with the knees which I think are some of the, the coolest features of the pants and they have a system uh, basically a three tiered system to protect your knees and basically the first part of it is going to be just this padded piece that you see right here. It's hard to see on camera but that is padded and it's made out of a fabric that's going to be familiar to a lot of you. It's a 500D Cordera but very abrasion resistant and very strong very durable stuff. Now the system is three parts like I said. And uh, it's that combined with these two pieces that you see here. Now, you can wear them with any of it. You can wear it with nothing and get some protection, or you can step up and put this piece in here. This is the uh, part that goes underneath, and you can see there's a zip compartment up here. You just unzip it, and you can kind of, I find it easier just to sort of scrunch it up a little bit, slide it in there, and you just work it down. It's probably easier if I'm not on camera. It's actually, I find it easier to do when you're actually wearing it, but slide it in there, zip it up, and that's your one layer. Now the next layer, you pull this piece up here, it's got hook and loop tape, pull that back, and you put in your layer here. Now this is sort of like a, it's not hard plastic, that's not the way I'd describe it, it's somewhat flexible, almost rubber texture, and you can slide that in this little compartment here, slide that up in there, come under, and secure it that way. At this point, it's just like having knee pads on, if not actually better, because you don't have any Velcro straps constricting your knees. You don't have to pull something up over your leg like an external um, knee pad would be. And it provides plenty of protection when you're dropping to a knee for whatever reason that you may have to do that. The knee protector system isn't the only cool thing. There's a good bit more to go. We'll start, I guess, on the bottom and work our way up. Here on the bottom of the pants, on the sides, this is the side as you're viewing it now, they do have these large pockets and they are open by zippers. Very sturdy zippers, by the way, made by uh, UF Pro. And large enough to fit like a, a AR magazine in there, as you can see. Zip it up. You might even be able to get two in there. It does also have a drainage hole here for water, should you be out in the elements. The bottom portion of the leg is also adjustable. You can uh, leave it as it comes, which is sort of just like a straight leg style or you can open it up say if you have like rubber over molded boots on and get it over those very wide cut and you can also tighten it down if you want to if you want to wear them like maybe like bdu pants now you can do that by pulling this piece out and then just pulling the drawstring tight at that point you can just velcro it down and tuck all this up under there and you have no strings to worry about coming out and your pants are secured and bloused the cargo pocket here can also be accessed several different ways you can access it uh, from the side as you're standing anyway with your hand going in like that also from the top more traditional method here going in and something to note while we're talking about the inside see if i can get this on camera here we have two sort of hidden pockets in here you can put whatever fancies tickles your fancy in there probably about the size but we'll just take the ar mag again just to show you a size something that's a known object here to most of my viewers stick that in there we'll stick it down you can see you can get probably a 10 round AR mag would fit in there just for size comparison. Now there's two of those pockets in there, just kind of showing you there, two different ones that you can use. Also on the outside here, there's a really neat pocket. And the way you access that is you pull this tab out and it sort of acts as like a locking piece here. You put your phone in there, that's an iPhone 4 with a mag pull case to give you an idea of the size. And then you just put this piece over there and it just by friction, it sort of locks it in. And you can push up on the bottom of it and it's not going anywhere as you can see. 
Next to the cargo pocket here is this little pouch that you could use for a myriad of things. You could use it for, say, like a pistol mag. If you have like your Glock 17 mags you want to put in there, it fits right in there just fine. You use it for a knife, obviously, if you wanted to. Maybe like a flashlight if you wanted to carry that or it's a daily carry. You can fit it in there. It's going to stick out a little bit, obviously, the LZ here, but there's obviously different sizes out there. So multiple use, and that is on both sides of the pant legs. Pockets here. Are pretty nice uh, decent size you can definitely get your full hand in there if you want to wear them like Air Force gloves maybe if it's cold outside many of you know what I'm talking about there um, here you can see it does come off the pants so it's not the pocket is not sewn to your leg which is something I like I know a lot of folks are gonna like that it's gonna give you a little bit more maneuver room in there if you want to really fill them up with uh, whatever you may want to put in there on the waist it attaches uh, via two different points both the hook here as well as the button so it'll definitely give you a good secure tight hold on there the zipper here is awesome. I really like this. Um, it has you can either pull it down like a traditional zipper, or you can pull it up, which is nice for those of you guys that have ever had to like lay in an observation position or something like that, and you wanted to just roll over and take a piss. Much easier to do by pulling it up than pulling it down. For those of you that have done that, know what I'm talking about. On the back side of the pants here, we have pockets on both sides of your butt, and they do expand out a good bit if you really want to fill them up. Close and open via zipper again, and they do have water drainage holes if you do get wet. Up here on the belt loops, we have a really nice system. It's a double belt loop system. Those of you may have noticed earlier in my intro scene that I was wearing my 1.75 inch belt and uh, went through there just fine, and that's how I had it um, attached to the pants there. Now, the double belt loops, for those that don't know, is so you can attach like a duty belt over on top of it, and that way when you're running, uh, your pants are secured via your traditional belt that goes underneath and then your duty belt is secured and not flopping around via the double belt loops. The pants are primarily made of three different materials. The Cordera that you saw on the knees that we talked about earlier, this really tough ripstop material here that you see with the pen cot pattern, wherever you see that pen cot, that's what that material is. It's a nice kind of medium weight, I'd say, ripstop material and it's very durable stuff. And then this brown material here that you see, and this brown material is, I believe it's pronounced shoulder, but I'll write up on the screen what it actually is. It's a uh, stretch material, dynamic stretch material, and it's in use in a lot of tactical pants, a very upper echelon tactical pants here in America as well. And uh, the UF Pro is also using it. You can see it's very durable as well, but it does have some give to it. So that way, um, when you're bending down, it expands out on your butt here. Also in the crotch area, um, it expands out. So you can do, I mean, you can literally do the splits in these and be just fine. And it's also above and below the knees for when you're bending at the knee, it moves with you and stretches with you, but yet it's still a very durable product. On the sides of your hips here on the waist, there is a little bit of elastic for movement as well as uh, should you put on a few pounds. It's got about maybe an inch of give on each side, so probably two inches total of give. UF Pro offers these pants in a number of different configurations. They have the pen cot that you've seen here. They have like a slow cam, which is sort of like a multi-cam variant. And then they have the traditional like uh, green, black, tan for those folks who want a little bit more of a discreet look as they're wearing these. But uh, as I've indicated throughout the review, they are awesome pants. Super high build quality, great innovation throughout. They definitely thought them through. Uh, UF Pro is not new to the game. For those of you guys who are unfamiliar with uh, the brand, over in Europe they've been making uh, military uniforms, top notch like uh, gear for a long time. Um, and they know what they're doing. So these pants are certainly every bit as good as pretty much anything you'd see here in America. In America, many of us are familiar with the Cry Precision G3 Combat Pant being like sort of the gold standard and for good reason. It's an excellent, excellent pair of pants. I've had them in the past, worn them in the past. They're awesome. Uh, in my opinion, these pants from UF Pro are every bit as good. They're sort of like the European answer to it. Now, the Cry pants are very expensive, as many of you know. I believe they're like $220-ish. These pants are expensive as well. They're 169 euros. This is the MSRP. You can find them at a few sites for different prices, but if you convert that over to US dollars, um, I mean, it's expensive, regardless of when you're viewing this video, whether it's 2014, like I'm recording it, or a year down the road. So, do you need that? I don't know. But one thing I can tell you is if you're looking for a top-notch pair of pants for whatever you're doing, like hiking, uh, any kind of training you may be doing, these are something you should take a look at. Um, like I said, I've had them for a little over a month now, I've worn them a bunch, uh, doing a bunch of different drills in it, things that you guys saw on camera, some things you didn't see on camera, and um, they're great. I mean, I don't know what else to say. If you guys have any questions about it, more details, you can check out their site, which again, I'll put in the link below. You can also ask these questions below in the comment section. You can also ask over at my Facebook page. But as always, guys, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and I hope to see you in the next video.